What's up guys? Toast again from Fish Yacker. Welcome back. I've got another Bass Killer Lure unboxing and review. If you saw the video that we put up last night, you saw we did these really cool jointed lipless crankbaits for a super awesome deal, 40% off. Well, here's another one that we're getting for 40% off. Use the promo code John Fish, and I'll put a link down below. This is an Amazon Prime item, and I just literally just put my phone down before I hit film. Uh, these, at least where I'm living here in Pennsylvania, if I order them right now, I will have them by Saturday. So you're looking at less than a 48-hour turnaround to get these in the mail. So it's really cool. These are listed before I open them up for $15.99, and it's $5.00. Soft plastic paddle tail swim baits. Pretty cool looking mold to them too. Uh, with that 40% off discount code for John Fish, you get them for, I don't know, less than 10 bucks, nine dollars and 50 some odd cents. So let's open it up and take a look at what they sent us. Again, it's from Bass Killer. It's an Amazon Prime item, so you can buy with confidence. And they're pretty cool looking too. So in this box, we'll pull them out. It's another Bass Killer Lure. It's a five pack, and you can use the promo code John Fish, and it goes from the retail price have on Amazon for $15.99 to $9.59. So it's five lures, so you're looking at less than $2 a lure. Uh, again, they come Amazon Prime right to your door. Right now, they're shipping them, at least where I am, in less than 48 hours. So free shipping on it too if you're a Prime member. So well packaged box here again. There is a lure package. It's in a clear cellophane uh, bag. Pull that off. So they definitely well package all this stuff. Nice heavy cellophane. And there is the pack of lures. It's in that packaging they often use. It's uh, basically a cellophane box, and it's got five different types. If I can get the glare off of it, soft plastic swim baits. So there you go. There's a the front, the back of it there. Nice looking packaging. We'll go ahead and open it up. Pull the card out first. So there's a the front bass killer, and then on the back got some more specs on it uh, nice looking presentation so again $16 retail $15.99 getting them for less than $10 so less than uh, $2 a lure so in here there's one two three four five there isn't that ah, look at these really cool little blister pack looking things are in it's got the skew back here in the back with a barcode in case you're buying this and trying to sell it resale. Uh, so it's got the, it says on here again, it's a Bass Killer D75. So that's a model number for this. Uh, these are really interesting lures, but uh, there you go. I guess you can just take them and pop that open like that. It's 3D molded packaging. There is one of them, and we'll go through each of them. So, uh, looking at it, feels like a silicone rubber. Actually, feels really durable. That's pretty good. Pretty darn durable. Uh, the tail on it is really supple. So, that's going to have a nice swimming action to it. Interesting. It's not. It's actually a pretty high tolerance mold too. The way it's made it, I don't see any like imperfections in the mold, air bubbles, like globishness. I guess that might be a word. Any of that. It looks actually like a really nice, clean mold. 3D. You can feel the grooves here on the fins. The head is 3D molded. You can actually feel the. Uh, Gill plate, 3D eyes are molded in. You can feel the hard eyeballs in there molded in on it. Uh, front eyelet. Then this is pretty cool. They show this on the uh, link too. So the, the fin here actually is two pieces. They can peel down 
and there is your hook. So roll both sides down. Interesting little design there. And the hook's under it. Bang, and flip them right back up. And it's semi-weedless, I'm sure. That'll actually help it a lot, deflecting especially grass and uh, light stuff. But if I pull my finger through it, I can feel that hook point. It's got a nice hook point on it. The hook's actually a fairly nice quality hook. Not getting much flex in the hook. It's not some cheap looking uh, low grade of steel. If I twist a little bit, I can see a little bit of movement inside. It does have an internally molded jig head. I don't know if you can see it really well there, but uh, similar to like a lot of the Storm swim baits, it's got that molded in jig head. Almost like a stand up jig head, it looks like, inside of it. So it's going to sit kind of like that. Looks like it'd be really nice for bottom jigging. Uh, of course, you can swim it all. So it doesn't have a huge paddle tail on it. So it's going to have a pretty tight swimming action to it. So it's a pretty heavy lure for the size of it. So this is going to have a really nice vertical jigging action to it. The length of it, I know they have it on the uh, length there and everything. But uh, just to take another look at it in person, it's little over three inches in length so if the tail with a natural lay it's a little shy of uh three and a quarter inches uh the height of the lure as you see here right about an inch top to bottom vertically that's a cool looking little lure so i'll definitely pick you up some fish Looks like it'd be a good pattern for saltwater or freshwater. So there is the one here. It's got kind of like a salmon pinkish underbelly on it. Again, it's flat on the bottom, so I have a nice stand-up type of bottom jigging profile. It's got a kind of like a greenish head on it. I like the eyes a whole lot. And it's got those uh, black markings, a little bit of blue up here, and a chartreuse tail. So there's one. Then here... It's kind of a pink one. There's your pink. That came in it. Again, there's your uh, tail. Nice feeling material, too. It's a chartreuse one. So, again, I'm not really seeing any imperfections in these. The workmanship actually looks really nice. Here's a fourth one. That one looks really nice. This thing looks like it'll do really well back in the salt water. I like that. It's kind of like an eggshell, kind of like a bone kind of color. So it's kind of like a clearish, and it gets into more of a darker tan down towards the bottom. So it's not just one color. They actually got a nice looking uh, fade in that. That like looks really good. And then the final one here. Pretty cool. There you go. So this one's got some green and some black and some blue and a little bit of orange down there in the bottom. Nice looking lures. So again, they're from Bass Killer. I'll put the link down below, the Amazon link. You get five of them for $9.59 after the discount code. So if you go onto Amazon, uh, you click on it. It'll come up at $15.99. You put in the code John Fish, all caps, and it'll drop it down to $9.59. And like I said, right now when I just checked, it's shipping right away. So it'll get right to you within a couple of days. Heck, I guess if you're near one of the terminals, it might even get you even closer. I don't know. It'll get you faster. But uh, the ones I looked at yesterday when I was looking at them, would have got next day shipping, which is really cool. And it's Amazon Prime, so it's reliable and it's going to be, you know, free. If you got Amazon. So, pretty cool looking lures. Yeah, they'll definitely catch fish. And I like how they're manufactured. They look really good. I mean, even looking here, the, the fins here on the side, they're not uh, stiff. Looks like it'll have a lot of little action to it. And a pretty heavy looking head on it, too. So it's going to be good for like vertical jigging in some deeper water or probably punching some uh, weeds and stuff too and have the swimming action on top of it. 
So definitely here, like for smallmouth, they'll definitely work. Using them uh, back down south too in salt water, that's going to be a, a winner. But uh, I'll put the link down below in the description to Amazon, to the Bass Killer Amazon page where you can pick these up. Be sure to put that code in there, John Fish, and get the really good deal on them. Thank you. A big shout out to Bass Killer for hooking us up with these and letting us take a look. We'll get them out of the water, test them out, see what they look like. Uh, especially by uh, when we start doing more uh, tank tests, we'll get them in there and do some vertical jigging, see how they look in there too. But uh, yeah, kind of a nice little uh, presentation on the bottom. You can drag them, jig them, or swim them. Probably burn them too, have a nice little tight action when they're uh, getting burned. But I do like how the hook is embedded in there to give you a little bit of that weedless action by just deflecting off just enough. That's cool. But a nice set of lures, five of them. Like again, less than, ten, less than two bucks. Less than ten bucks for all of them. Less than two bucks a piece. I'll put the link down below. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Share this video on all your social media outlets. Help us with all those YouTube analytics and everything they have, the algorithm. Give that thumbs up. Tell us what you want to see. Got some more lure reviews coming up. Got one more set of lures actually in that box, so I'll probably pull them out within the next few days or so and, and film those too. We'll be heading out to Idaho in a few days and uh, get some sturgeon fishing on. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this weekend, before we head out of town, uh, probably going to get back out maybe in a jet boat, get on some smallies, maybe some muskies or walleye too on the susky. But more videos coming to you, more reviews, more on the water stuff. Still got some iCast footage to put up too. But again, be sure to subscribe so you'll see these as soon as they get put up. All right, guys, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.